Hola, hola, bienvenida. Welcome to my channel, Off the Resort, Damayanga, Caribe con Calipe. And you know what? Today is a special day because as I'm driving around, hopping in and out of different taxis, riding with friends, I'm thinking there's so much beauty here to Cancun. And I wish that I had someone that knew the history, that could show me around all the beauty and all the culture, traditions. And so I prayed for someone and I prayed that I would meet someone that would understand the mission and the journey and have just as much passion and intention to take other people as well off the resort to show what Cancun has. And guess what? I found him. I'm so excited. Here in Mexico. Mexico. Okay. <laughs> Let's get it. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 So she can have fun with a little money. Uh -huh. You see that show? Yes. You see that show in the United States? Was this show? Of this lady? She travels with with forty dollars a day. Wow! No, I need to lady. see that. And yeah, she got I like nice breakfast. That. She got nice lunch. She got nice dinner. Nice drinks for 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 it. I think it's twenty dollars a day. See? Like that. You see that? So that's why yeah. you need to mess with me. I'm telling you, I know the right <laughs> people. I know exactly. the right people. Spend with for less. Money. Right. Everybody everybody wants to save money, no matter how much money they think we have. Saving money is always the best, especially, well, especially when, you're when it's good stuff. Exactly. Exactly. When it's good stuff. Quality stuff. So we're getting you guys the quality local stuff, and I'm excited because this is what I came here for. Local stuff. Yes. No American. We were no Americans. Yeah, exactly. We're in Mexico. Mexico. Okay. <laughs> Let's get it. Vamos a aquí al Mercado 28. It's a very popular place for, for handcrafts. And, uh, and uh, t-shirts or you know souvenirs okay souvenirs and of course they have food there too for people they like to eat food awesome all right Ponte Mercado 28 this is awesome that little spot right there oh I that's where I need to be right now mm -hmm. let me turn this phone around so you can see what see, we see what Restaurantes, farmacia, yes. So you know people walk inside, there's little, right. little alleys and stuff. Oh, I know Just exactly where this is at. Okay. You can, and you close by, you, you, I know. you close by distance, you know? Yes, I know where this is at. And you might be cool for you, a bicycle. Like, I am, I'm going to get a bike. I'm know, looking for a you, bike. Take you around, you know, and you don't have to like paid on the taxi or the local transportation. I use most of my bike. Sometimes when I, I'm late, I use my car, but most of the times... You're on your bike. Today I drive my car because I don't want to meet you. Right. But normally, I like to use my bike because I get faster. Um, I chose Cancun because it kind of gave me the feel of San Francisco. Okay. Because of just the fast pace, but it's still a little hippie. Sure, it you is. Know what I'm no, saying? it is. It is. It's it is. not. It's not too like Tulum. Oh, yeah, well, I was gonna say that's a hippie. Yeah, stuff. I don't want to do that, that's, that's a little too, too hippie. hippie, right? Exactly. Kaya and Carmen got. I need. That's, I need some more brown folks. I, I, not enough brown folks out there for me. <laughs> I know, and, and you know, I, I I like to go there because sometimes I take my. It's my, pretty. I take my the tourists. Yes. They like to go. There, I take them. Yes. But for me, it's just too small. It's too crowded. Yes. And I hate that shit. Yes. Cancun yes. is more spread. Yes. Cancun is bigger. Yes, it reminds me, that's what I'm saying. See, Stop it reminds me like stuff. that because when I was in, in California, I got my car and I just cruise everywhere and there's no ending. It's cruising everywhere, lots of places to go. Lots of things to do. Definitely. So, yeah, and off, I live on a high rise, so I look out to the skyline. Okay. You know, I see I see the Zona Motalera, I see the ocean. Oh, yeah. I have the, oh really? Yeah, wow. I have a beautiful Ooh, view. Nice. So, um, yeah, when you show me... Um, you know Walmart is right there? Was, oh, Walmart, 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 of course, yes. Walmart, you know, Walmart is popular. Walmart is like the same as in the U.S. It's Mexican Walmart, you know. 
Merida. So I haven't been to Merida. Okay, beautiful. And that's more, more like, a, like all the style, Mexico. Yes, exactly. Yes. Like I heard the, the it, houses, it's hot. The it's, it's, it's hot as hell, too. <laughs> In fact, you have, a, you have a beach close by too. It's called Progreso. Progreso. Progreso is a, oh. it's a, it's a beach. Baby. You see okay. all the places that are here. Now when you see a map, it's like, okay, I'm here. There's all the here. There's all the parks. Sounds all great. the Mayan ruins. All the, the islands. You know how we have four islands here? Yes. I mean, let, let me name them. Let me name them. Isal Mujeres. Uh -huh. Cozumel. Yes, those. Uh, where else? That's all I know. Isla Contoy. I don't know that. Oh, Contoy, Contoy, yeah, Contoy yeah, Conosco. Island. No, no, yeah, it's Conosco, right? It's a Virgin Island. There's a Virgin, Virgin Island. Okay. Okay, and then we have Paul Bosch. Paul Bosch, yes, 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 Conosco. And, yes. and uh, this is a tip. Cancun, if you see it closely, Cancun, Cancun, the, the hotel zone is an island. Nobody right. knows. Right, Nobody right. knows. Right. From, you feel, from the aerial yes, view. Yes, it's an island because you have the yes. lagoon on one side and you have the ocean on the yes. other side. Yes. And then you have this, yes, Here's the road, that's the only land that it is where the hotels are, right? Right, right. And then we have this other one, it's called Isla Blanca. Yes, I heard of you Isla Blanca. You heard about Blanca. that one? Yes. That's a local, local place. Nobody, tourists, only a few tourists you see there, you see more local people. And the beach is beautiful. beautiful. Right, right. Oh yeah, y'all, we did the game today. We did the game. And I'm glad it didn't rain, really, because that would look like, beautiful. Yeah. I heard it was supposed to be a hurricane. That's what they were saying. Girl, I was, <laughs> the time that I lived here, I already went to a few. Are you okay? serious? I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. But it's not around this month though, right? No, it's in September and October. That's the rainy season. Oh, that's when the... That's the rainy season. That's when the hurricanes uh, hit Oh, here. wow. And then June and August, June, July, August is hot, no, right? This is the best, this is the best time because it's hot. It's about to get super hot though. Super hot. This is not even hot. Like June and July and August, watch just out. Just it. Watch out. Oh yeah, really. June, July, August, if you want to come out here and get some heat, this is, this is it. I've been here before when and it's people, that hot. And people, when they see the brochures, most of the brochures you will see water. They're like, I, I want to be there. You know? <laughs> and like, fucking take me to the sea. No, so it's like, <laughs> shit, I want to be, because it looks like, yeah, it's hot, it's hot as hell. Like, right. I'm going to show you a couple of pictures that I have. And, and this is the trick for people to sell the tools because they want to be in a cool place because it's so hot. Yeah, this is to, this weather right here is perfect. For it me. is it's, in a way. It, I like yes. it. In a way, I like it. Yes, this is perfect. I I don't want the August and hot. Uh -huh. I, you can have that. <laughs> I think for August I'm gonna leave and then come back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, uh, and, and of course then in the winter, it, it gets busy again because all the people from Canada and United States, oh, they want to leave they the wanna cold, leave the cold right? So it's a business, it's a business going here. Yes. I, I, wanna, I was going to ask you, what do you would like to do for work? I know what you can do, but what would you like to do for work if you like to work, if you don't plan to work? Oh, okay. so for me, I'm out here. I. I mean, you don't. You don't have to, but you have the chance. You right. have the chance to, to, to right. work. Right. Uh, <laughs> and because you speak English, and believe me, you, you, you will see. I, I know. I know people that live here and they're from England, Canada, United States. Right. They, they, they sell person and the timeshare. You know the timeshare? Yes, I do okay. know the timeshare. And believe me, these people make good money. Right, good money right, going right. Why? Because they speak English and they can communicate with these people. And I'm gonna tell you something straight up. The best market in all this tourism area in Cancun or in Mexico, there is different markets. You have the, the Asian market, European market, Central American market, and you have the North American market. Right. And the best market is United States. Yes. I'm not making it up like that. That's the people with, with the, money. the money, you know? Trying to be like that, but well, you would know living yeah, exactly. here. Exactly. How many years? How many years have you been here? Ten years. Yeah, ten, so, so ten I, years I learned, you know. I learned all this and You learned the demographics. Demographic. demographic. Mm -hmm. So you, like I said, you speak English, and if you can communicate with American people. That's You're in the, there. At the end, right you there. You are in there. Right in there. See, sometimes people they stay in these nice hotels and they not even ask for a discount. 
They're like, how much we go ice cream? It's $185. Right. There's that. We're four people. We want to do a blow, we want to do short hop. Well, there's gringo prices and there's Mexico, there's Mexico Mexican prices. prices. Exactly. So in order to get the Mexican prices, you got to be, you got to know somebody. Exactly, you know. It's all about who you know. You make, and then, then you went and make the money. Yes. Because I have all the connection for all the two right. destinations. Right. And, and I tell you this, when people or companies like Best Day, uh, uh, Sunwin, uh, Expedia, all those places, they in the nice hotels, right? But they have to pay a lot of money to be in these hotels because they get the, the people there. You know what I'm saying? Right. They have to pay rent. Some of these places they pay like fifty thousand dollars a month. I'm not making it up. Fifty thousand dollars a month. But you know how much they make in a day. In a day they can sell twenty thousand dollars. Easy right. like that. Right. They have right. the whole hotel for themselves. Right. And the people who last money, believe me, they're not even gonna be in the Mercado in the they just in the hotel. And, and they, that's where they, they stay. They, they stay there. Yes. They, they wanna fuck around over here. Right, and right. People that like the adventurers like you and I, yes. they go outside. They want the culture. Yeah, they want the other people that are like, no, you don't wanna fuck around. It's, a lot of people are afraid here. though. They're exactly. afraid because of the stuff they hear in America. And no big, I don't have a problem with that. They will pay the money, like I said. Right. Okay, in my case, I don't have to pay rent. And I don't have to share my money with anybody. I can sell the food and I can still make some. Right. And I can give you this discount because I can do that. Right. I apologize. I was not able to record Mercado 28 right now. So I'm grabbing me something to eat. We're going to go back to my house. We have a lot of work to do. I was actually on the clock doing my business off the resort. So my phone kept ringing. I had some customers here that got into a crisis. So I had to really focus on that. Like I said, lo siento. But you know what? That makes room for me to come back next week to Mercado 28, show you around. So stay tuned. Tune in next week. Gracias. Ciao. All right, here are some other ways you can tap in and find me on social media. Also, don't forget to subscribe, hit the no notification bell, and share, share, share. We have a lot of good things coming. And if you find it in your heart to, to donate, please do so. You can contact me on any of these platforms and also on YouTube. Gracias por todo. Ciao.